surface and down here is your dashboard okay so uh, we're going to come down to where your albums are and you're simply going to create a new album look at my babies they were so sweet you're simply going to create a new album and you might want to call this family history decide who can see it i'm going to share it with friends and family that are on so the friends and family aren't just anybody in the world it's friends and family who are also account holders of forever even if it's just the two gigabyte okay i can put a description in here if i want i don't have to do that right now i can always go back and change it um, so i have the patience of a gnat so i'll come back and do all that later and then i'm going to start uploading i have a touch screen so the minute i hit the uh, mouse pad it it ends so and then i just simply so actually i'm going to do that just a little bit differently sorry because this is a family history one so i have my main umbrella so this is like my main file okay uh it could be my filing cabinet it, okay so i have a filing cabinet called family history and then i'm going to add a nested album inside that filing cabinet i'm going to add an album so this is going to be like a file within your filing cabinet and i'm going to call this crawford because that was my mom's family now i can't change this because i've already decided that friends and family can have it and i'm simply just going to create it I'm going to go back to the main family history uh, filing cabinet. I'm going to add another one, which is going to be McDonald, which is my dad. Back to family history to the big filing cabinet. I'm going to add another one, uh, which is going to be, let me see, what will we do? We'll do uh, Woodcock, which is my husband and my kids. <laughs> okay. So for now, I'll just start with three. So I'm back at my main filing cabinet here. Okay, and I have three file folders within my filing cabinet. I have a file folder for my mom's line. I have a file folder for my dad's line and I have a file folder for my husband's line. Okay, I'm gonna go into my mom's line and I'm gonna add more nested albums. So in here, I am going to have, um, let's see how far back do I wanna go? I will go Hugh and Agnes, which is my great grandparents. And the reason that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna limit myself personally just to that generation is because I don't have photo, I only have one layer of photographs beyond that. I have documents of course, but I don't have the photographs, so. All right. And then if I want, while I'm still in Hugh and Agnes, I'm not gonna go back to the, the Crawford file, still in Hugh and Agnes, I can even do things like, I can have four albums in here, four files in here for their four sons. So there was uh, Tommy, and I would put his date, uh, 1892. Nope, oh, didn't have the number lock on, 1892. I'm gonna go back to Hugh and Agnes, because these are the great grandparents. Their second son was my grandfather, Harry, 1893. I'm gonna go back to my great grandparents. Their third son uh, was Hugh. He was my brick wall for a while, but he's a pretty fascinating character. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go back and do the final son who is my great uncle, uh, Joseph. Oh, Joe, Joe, Joseph, <laughs> good grief, okay. All right, and then I just start uploading. So when I'm in here, I'll actually have to go back. So these are the four nested albums. This is, um, so these are my great grandparents. That's their file folder. And then I have subfolders inside theirs for each of their four sons. And that's just a way for me to keep it lined up. And this is actually how I did it when I had the hard copy. And here's why I did it this way, is that my grandfather, Harry, had 20 children. Well, he fathered 22. One died as a baby uh, at uh, age of three months. Uh, his first wife died in childbirth. The baby died shortly after. And then he and my grandmother had a stillborn baby that I just discovered about last year. So, you know, I've got 22 files to add in there. Uh, and then my, uh, his brother, Hugh, he took off and went to America. So I've got a whole story on him and a ton of documents tra tracking him. My uh, uncle Tom, so my, my, dad, my grandfather and his brother, so he had 22, uncle Tom had nine. Uh, uncle Josie had six. So they're all big families and it's just easier in terms of organizing it to be able to do that. And then if I want to add Harry's stuff, I simply upload. So I'll go into my computer. I've actually got this on here just so that you can, I can show you how it's done. 
down to genealogy. Oh. <clears throat> and uh, Crawford. All right, so there's Harry, who is my grandfather. And then I simply, the documents that I have in this particular folder, up they go. All right, you can see I've already done that, which is why it's saying it's duplicate. So here's another thing that I really like. So I have uploaded uh, nine files that I already have stored in another album on forever. This, adding them again does not take away from any, it doesn't eat up any more storage. I can have the same photos or the same documents in three or four different folders without using up any more um, space. Okay, so I can rearrange it. It's when I upload something new that that's when it eats up the space. All right. And then I can, I think this says I'm done uploading. I can upload more. I can go back in now to pictures. And do I have the Crawfords in here? Sure. All right, so I will actually go down to my granny and I can then go ahead and upload, and this is all gonna come up as duplicate as well. Um, all right, <clears throat> so now I have the documents and the photos all in one place. I also have a video that I could put in there as well, but I have the videos in a separate folder and I'm not gonna upload those. All right, I'm done uploading, it was that fast. There we go, all right. I can decide if I want it uh, by the newest first, I can do it, um, I can uh, I can do it by the date it was taken, the date I uploaded it. I can do it by name, or I can do a custom uh, organization. That's entirely up to you how you do it. So that's Harry taken care of, and then I would simply go back. Um, so this is Harry's album. I can change that if I want. Simply click on it, and I would actually then put in a picture. If I have one. Oh. Well, this is the one everybody uses, so there's my grandparents. All right, and there we go. So that's, I mean, the, the picture, obviously, I can't drag it down there, but <clears throat> if I was able to, I would be able to see their faces. Probably better just to put my granny in there. Yeah, missed her. Yeah, it's still not, okay. So uh, then I go back and I can do the same uh, for each of the brothers. I can just go in, upload the genealogy documents, upload any video that I have and upload any photographs that I have and I can just continue to do that. And I can go and change this anytime I want, all right? It's not, um, you know, it's not fixed in stone. I can play around with this. There's some days, honestly, um, I actually just shared an album. I did a family history book um, that I'll show people on uh, Tuesday. I did a family history book and I sent the link to my cousins so that they could also see it and order a copy if they wanted. And of course what that meant was, and I also shared the, uh, I, I sent them the link as well to photographs that I had uploaded to a file and I thought, okay, wait a second, now I've got to go and put in all the metadata so they know who it is they're looking for. Because I can look at a photo, I've been doing this for 20 odd years on my family, I can look at a photo, know exactly who it is right away, but my cousins haven't got a clue unless I write in there who they belong to, right? So that's Crawford's. And then I can go back again to, um, so I can do the same for my great grandparents. I can go back again to uh, the family history, the main filing folder, uh, file cabinet. I can do the same for my dad's family. I can upload um, from the McDonald's and just, uh, so it's, it, honestly, it's really easy and really simple, and uh, you can do it. At whatever makes the most sense for you in terms of how you're going to organize is really what you need to do. All right. There we go. So there we go. And it's just really that simple. All right. So honestly, dead easy.